Good day, a uh, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're watching this video, wherever you are on this beautiful world, guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, that channel that always talks about Bitcoin, blockchain, and life. Let's walk to the beach, guys, and continue this chat. And yes, I skipped a part because, you know, you've seen that part a few times now. In today's video, of course, bombing you with really cool Bitcoin charts again. One chart, really amazing what that chart is showing us for the next couple of weeks. Also talking about the SEC, also talking about the beef chain, also talking about the family token, also talking about Apple and Bitcoin, and much more in this video. And yes, guys, finally again, I won't forget today, I will hide a QR code somewhere in this video, like a treasure hunt. And if you find the QR code, scan it and claim your free family tokens. Because these family tokens have value now, you can exchange them on Uniswap. They are officially listed. So a lot of cool stuff in this video again. So make sure you watch the complete video till the end. Enjoy today's video, guys. Disappointing all the followers and the subscribers. I'm going tomorrow with you. Are you promising that you're going tomorrow? Yeah. You're promising that camera? I'm promising I'm going tomorrow. Okay. Julie's going to film, you film the day after tomorrow. Okay. Promise? Promise. Like pinky promise or how do you say this? Perfect. Jess is going to school, so she won't go with me. And Roman is doing all the other very important stuff to run the house. Papa! Oh. Yes. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you see? I need to go. Ga in Dutch means go. Sorry guys, I need to disappoint you. Jolie, Juna, Jesse and Romain not joining me today. So you will need to do it today again with me while I walk to the beach. Welcome to the family part guys. 20K was broken already. She broke 20K, this is awful. What, no, I'm not talking about Bitcoin man. I'm not talking about Bitcoin. My wife Romain, broke my 20k record with pac-man i was leading i had a 20,050 points with pac-man she broke it so why are, why are you so happy i broke my own record you even couldn't break that record and Total. now i even went higher so good luck <laughs> can you maybe leave the light on next time i film you yeah <laughs> so you think i'm not going to break that record no but for the followers, <laughs> she has a high score of 23,760. I'm gonna break that record. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. That will take me now ages before I break her record again. Don't tell her, because I told her, man, I will break it like in a second. And maybe when I break this 22,000 record in Pac-Man, Bitcoin is reaching 20k as well, or even 22k, but I will show you the possibility later in this video, because yes, Bitcoin could reach 22k as well but i will talk a little bit more about this later at the bitcoin part first finishing this family part guys that is to be continued i will show you on video that i break a record the second family thing i want to talk to you guys about i thought that we were receiving all the clothes and all that stuff that was still in bulgaria yesterday i said to you guys ah stoyan and nico sent me all the stuff and they did send the stuff but i misread the date so it's not this thursday <laughs> But it's going to be next week thursday that the kids will have their clothes so one more week um, we need to do it with the stuff we have at the moment can you imagine the reaction of the kids when i just told them this morning ah i'm going to check the time how late that this uh, goods will arrive today and then i saw oh shit, it's the 19th of november so uh oh it's a week longer guys and they were like oh dad you promised yes i promised i saw now in ups somewhere in hungary so from Hungary, it needs to go to Portugal and it will take another week. Um, but yeah, 
in a week we will see the stuff and you will see it of course in the video and then I can film the happy faces of the kids instead of the sad faces that I forgot to film today this morning at breakfast and uh, yes we always do breakfast together as a family every morning again we try to start a day and uh, you know we set the table and everything on it and then we collectively uh, do a breakfast because for me it's just a beautiful moment to start today normally I already start early with the videos and everything so I'm back around 9 or 10 so then I can join the breakfast this day recording the video a little bit later first did my breakfast my two cups of coffee I set one trade with a Didi Bam Bam indicator and now I'm walking this beautiful beach where the waves are coming closer and closer and I will talk to you again about some really cool Bitcoin stuff in the next part of this video the Bitcoin part let's go into the Bitcoin TA part guys BAM welcome guys to the Bitcoin TA part of the video and uh, let's first start again with the BAM BAM indicator I will do this every day I will make it shorter and shorter because I don't want to talk all the time about my beautiful Didi BAM BAM indicator but I just want to show you the results every day again from the day before and the more you will see this video the more you will understand the charts so I don't need to explain too much anymore than by talking about the charts with today's Didi BAM BAM indicator chart I'm going to show you again the profits of yesterday and uh, some requests about ah oh, Didi you're showing a 15 minute chart every day can you show a different time frame as well today I'm doing this I'm showing you the 30 minute time frame BAM Welcome to the Didi Bam Bam indicator chart. Oh my God, how often am I saying Bam nowadays? Hmm, I need to figure out to minimize the Bam uh, to Bam word because else you, will, everybody in the future will be referring to not the Didi All In guy, but the Didi Bam Bam guy. And Bam Bam, I think, was a guy from the Flintstones, or was the baby from the Flintstones? I don't know. But on this Didi Bam chart, guys, every candle is 30 minutes. So this is a 30 minute chart. Again, we traded with one percent of the Bitcoin price. 155 US dollar with a leverage of 10 this time I traded on Dudex and yes I also trade on Bybit both of these exchanges referral links down below the video sign up through my links and get your referral bonuses of $300 of $90 or even 50% deposit bonus on Prime XBT the first trade yesterday was a long we started with 155 US dollar we made a $60 profit I think it was a 3.9% increase in price which led to 60 US dollar profit on this chart we are not compounding our profits we will start a new trade every time again to show you that the huge profits we've been making the last couple of weeks is not only about the compounding component but also about just starting a new trade you can make profits as well so the first trade $60 profit we traded with $5 extra so we traded with 160 US dollar the second trade we had a short with a 2.4% profit which is 38 US dollar profit so the second trade was around $40 profit and the third trade we are still in this third trade the third trade was a long again playing with 160 US dollar at the moment we were around 2.2% profit so we have a stop loss set so we will always have a profit about 38 US dollar wow the sea is really coming up fast now huge waves huge waves so again around 40 US dollar profit let's just round it up to the top so in total guys that would be 60 dollar for the first trade 40 dollar for the second one and 40 dollar for the third one so in total yesterday 140 US dollar we started trading 155 US dollar if you add the 140 US dollar to that you end this day with 295 US dollar which is a profit again of 90 percent be aware this is without a compounding effect if we would have compounded our profits the profit would even be higher than the first trade would have been with 155 US dollar the second trade would have been with 210 US dollar and the third trade would be would have been I think with 250 US dollar so then the end result would have been higher if you would have ended the trade in the morning at 6 you came home at 5 you already had a $60 profit over there so that's how the Didi Bam Bam indicator works yes you need to trade manually it's not automated trading yet it's just giving you the signals the indications that you can long or short Bitcoin nothing else but if you want to know more sign up to the discord server where you can find all the information and education about the Didi Bam Bam indicator BAM I hope guys that the waves are not disturbing too much in the sound but I just love this sound of the waves it gives me a relaxing feeling so let's take a look at some other really cool charts let's first start with a 60 minute chart this one BAM 
On this chart, guys, every candle is 60 minutes or an hour. You can see that at the moment we are trading with a support of 15,500, 600 US dollar. We want to go up to 16K and even 17K, but we have a huge resistance around 16K, 16,200, and that is why we always drop down. We just saw another drop from 16,200 all the way back to 15,700. Again, falling back to the support region of 15,500, 600 US dollar. We can even fall lower, guys, because you can see this blue upcoming trend line. This trend line is around 15,000 US dollar. So yes, if you are not keeping the support level of 15,500 US dollar, we can even drop back to 15,000 US dollar. And if you don't keep the support level of 15,000 US dollar, guys, yes, 14,800, 14,500, and even 14,200 are the next levels of support. But like you can see on the chart, is the 100 simple moving average is around 15,400 US dollar. So I think that will be the first big support for us. I don't think we will drop below that at the moment because we are still in this uptrend, creating higher highs and higher lows in many time frames. So for me, we are still trying to reach 17K or even 18K, but I will talk about that a little bit later again because I have this amazing chart now I wanna share with you guys. And you can see if we could reach 20K in 2020. Yes, so I'm going to give the answer now about the question I asked you in the beginning of the video. Can we reach 20,000 US dollars per Bitcoin in 2020? Let's take a look at this really cool hyperbola resistance chart. Bam! On this chart, guys, you can see the hyperbola resistance. What is this one? This one is the curving line that started in the top, it goes down and it goes up again. This is combined with a pitchfork. And the pitchfork is a pitchfork Fibonacci level pitchfork. So you can see dotted line, this curve, and you can see these horizontal lines, like this is the pitchfork. So this hyperbola, so this curve, you can see that every time we move, we move in this 40 degree angle. You can see those angles on the bottom of the chart. So if we keep repeating these angles, guys, then the next angle could bring us in this area where you can see this blue arrow. This area would bring Bitcoin all the way up to 22,000 US dollar. But for this to happen, guys, we need to break this pitchfork Fibonacci level of 0.236, this yellow part. If we are able to break this part now, so the 0.236 level in the Fibonacci in this pitchfork, then guys, we can see another triangle with a 40 degree angle, bringing us all the way up to above 20K, even up to 22,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. This is a very bullish chart. If this will not happen, guys, we can fall back to the bottom of this Fibonacci pitchfork around the 0.618 level. And that level can be all the way between 12 and 15K. But at the moment, everything is still looking positive because if you look to the bottom of the chart, you can also see the RSI. And you can see a trend in this RSI. You can see that we are creating higher highs in this RSI. You can see this blue line going upwards every time again we create a higher high in the RSI and yes the highest position in the RSI is 100 and we didn't touch the 100 level yet so if we combine these two things with each other so the hyperbola these 40 degree angles the RSI going up in the trend the volume we are seeing in the market at the moment the positivity in the market the bullishness of the market then I think we could break the 0.231 level at the moment and yes, that would mean that we could form this new triangle on top of this hyperbola, which could bring us to 22,000 US dollar. Really cool chart. But be aware, we can also fall down to the 15K level or even to the 12K level. This is not financial advice. Everything I say in the videos is not financial advice. Yes, everything I say about life is life advice. Everything I say about educational things, fundamental stuff, yes, is advice. If it comes to prices, if it comes to the TA of these charts, it is just how I see it, just how I read it, just how I trade it. No financial advice, disclaimer, huge disclaimer, because guys, I'm just a normal guy that lives a normal life with a normal family. Ah, nah, I'm lying. I'm not a complete normal guy and we don't have a complete normal family because not every family is going all in. So we are a different family, but we are living a normal minimalistic lifestyle. And yes, I make profit with trading because I use the DD Bam Bam indicator and sharing this with you because I would love to see more of you out there becoming part of this huge Bitcoin family 
and living this decentralized lifestyle in freedom. So let's jump now into the blockchain slash news part where I talk to you about what I read this morning while drinking my coffee. BAM! In this part guys, first talking about beef chain. Beef chain? Yes, beef chain. So many people always have the discussion about is eating meat good for the world or bad for the world? I think it's in the middle. You know, if we overproduce meat, I think it is bad for the world. And if we overproduce meat by huge massive ranches that, you know, put the cows and all the other animals like in small cages, I think it is really bad for the world because it's also bad for the meat. I really believe that a cow needs to walk around freely and all that stuff to be healthy meat. The cow must not be fed with all that artificial shit and all these like, you know, attributes and all these grains that are not like normal to create better meat. I think a natural cow walking around and eating healthy grass and all the stuff that it normally eats is more healthy meat. So if we would know where the meat is coming from that we eat, that we buy, we might be able to change the whole impact from the meat industry on our lives, on our world, on our earth. So the beef chain, I think it is built on Cardano and the company is based in Wyoming and United States. They created now an animal identification system on the Cardano blockchain where you can track the animals by using RFID chips and IoT. So now the small farmers that really treat the animals well by giving the animals space to walk around and all that stuff, they can use this system to have their animals tracked and to show the world that a certain cow that you buy the meat of has been walking around like distances, like kilometers, has been enjoying its freedom and is not fed like artificial food, but just normal grass and the stuff that it should be eating to keep this meat healthy. So I think this beef chain project is a really cool project. So give a thumbs up for beef chain. Check them out if you want to. No, I'm not being paid to promote these guys. This is just the news that I read in the morning during my coffee. And I just get excited how the blockchain technology is now decentralizing and changing this whole world to the, for the better. Yes, I also gave a lot of examples in the last couple of months in videos that blockchain is also changing the world in a negative way just like the internet had a positive and a negative influence on the world the last 10 years blockchain will have the same positive and negative because if you want to think about negative think about the chinese credit system that now is being built in china and yes they will use the blockchain in my opinion in a negative way not to track cattle but to track people and the people's behavior and yes even incentivize or punish people when the behavior is not good or is good so that's the other side of the medal and that was a huge way I am wet. Okay, a few more short items because else the video is getting too long. Bitcoin's active addresses yesterday surpassed 1.18 million active addresses. This is almost as much active addresses as during the Bitcoin 2017 bull run. Like you can see on this chart, bam, yes, yesterday there was like 1.18 million active addresses. Really high number. I think it was the seventh highest day of active addresses in the Bitcoin history. So yes, looking positive, more people getting active again. This could mean, yes, we are going up. And the most beautiful part, guys, you can see on this chart, bam, on this chart, you can see that 98% of the people that hodl Bitcoin is in profit. 98% of the wallets that contain Bitcoin is in profit since we've reached the level of 14K. Now that we are reaching the 15K level, we are even nearing the 99% people being in profit in Bitcoin. Really cool numbers. How do we calculate it? Very simple. You just look at the Bitcoin wallet. You see the Bitcoins inside. You can track the history. You can see when it is bought and you can see the value now. And then you can see that 100% soon will be in profit, which will be huge moment for Bitcoin. Because remember, when we will reach the 20K, check yesterday's video again if you don't remember when we will reach and surpass 20k we will get the next green box filled with green candles probably 12 to 16 monthly green candles that will take us to the new all-time high that is will be between 700 and thousand percent higher than the previous all-time high of 20k and the next news guys and for all those ones that can't buy bitcoin at the moment like the sec you know they think if i can't buy it 
let's steal it. So they just stole 1.26 billion US dollar worth of cryptocurrency from unregistered ICOs. I think it was eight unregistered ICOs of which the SEC just stole 1.26 billion US dollar worth of crypto. Yes, I know that some of you are saying now, ah, uh, Didi, that's not stealing. Then they should have been uh, registered. And that is exactly why I support this full decentralization of the world, because I don't want this third party to influence this. Why would they determine if something is like regulated or not regulated? If somebody is so stupid to buy into an ICO because he didn't do all the research, it's their own fault. You cannot protect everybody for everything in this world. You can't protect the world from everything. Just take it easy. Let us do what we want and let people decide for themselves. Don't pamper us as if we are all uneducated fools and babies that can't think for ourselves. Hmm. Or maybe we are. Maybe that's why 99% of the people now believe in this whole flu situation. Uh, I need to think again about this. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Tell me, is the SEC stealing 1.26 billion US dollars of the ICOs? Or you do, do you think that it's correct? Do you think that they should be able to confiscate the 1.26 billion because an ICO, which could be a really cool company, didn't register on time? Let me know your opinion down below in the videos. And then the last part, guys, is about Apple. Because why is Apple still not joining the whole Bitcoin industry? Why don't they create a new Apple iPhone that has a built-in, very secure Bitcoin wallet that people can use to buy and sell Bitcoins? Because then Apple could easily add like $100 billion market cap to their Apple Pay. Why is it so difficult? PayPal is doing it. All these companies are doing it. Apple, why are you not running upfront when it comes to blockchain and Bitcoin? I think there should be a connection between Apple Pay and Bitcoin because that is only positive for Apple. And not only that, I agree with Michael that Apple should also be investing in Bitcoin. Apple has a $2 trillion market cap, of which is 192 billion cash on hand, of which they could easily use 10 or 20 billion to buy Bitcoin, just like MicroStrategy did. Why wouldn't Apple diversify their stock portfolio with 20 billion into Bitcoin? Because they could even influence the price by buying Bitcoins now then adding Bitcoins to the Apple Pay Store and all that stuff, you know what will happen? Another huge run of an ado in adoption because then all, also Apple Pay and all iPhone users and Apple users will automatically have a Bitcoin wallet on their phone. I am looking forward to that time that Apple will do this because I don't think that a leading company, a leading technology company can stay behind and not accept this tremendous evolution in technology it will lead to this evolution in money, to the next step in the evolution of money and not add that to their beautiful concept called Apple. That was all the information for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and community. Please subscribe to the channel, leave, hit the notification bell and leave a comment because I love to reply to your comments. Thanks for watching again. Always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in that life. Try to enjoy life every single minute of the day. And that starts with signing up to our Discord channel and buying some family tokens, which will make life a little bit more easy. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you tomorrow again. Bye. And now time for a coffee. Somewhere in the crater Bom dia. When I return from the afterglow, will you carry me like I am Wait, hold on. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone.